All right, so now we'll have to do the trivia, which uh, is going to be very fun. Fabulous questions for Mr. Brave Falls. Wait, so last time well, with Chuck, we got very, very easy questions on purpose. Um, so now these are going to be extra hard? Because, no, no, no. Because you're the Duke of Discoveries. We'll go over 10 questions and you have just a few seconds to answer. Uh, let's go to the trivia screen we right now. We might get stuck on... Uh, stuff but that's okay because it gives everybody a chance to get in but, and let's um, turn the music of trivia on okay here we go <laughs> okay hot seat who are you first wait, question pre wait prepare your app first i have it ready okay i have it ready okay first question for you what is the largest deep sky object you can capture from the southern hemisphere uh is that the antlia supernova remnant mm, no it's a bit tricky but Think bigger, much bigger. The Milky Way? Oh, you mean like an angular size or an in like... apparent size? Oh, an apparent size. Is it not the Milky Way? The large what? Magellanic? The Milky Way, yeah. yeah. LMC, Magellanic? you said it. Yeah, 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 LMC. that one. I got it. Specific to the South, yes. That's, uh... Antoine fed that to you. No, it's correct. You, you had it right. It's correct. <laughs> the LMC. So the, wait, uh, let me show them what this looks like. Um, You're like 10 seconds for each question, but take forever. Okay, you guys can see this is a large <laughs> Magellanic cloud, uh, which is the largest object from the south that you can capture, I believe, at least. Um, I looked it up, so it says yes. <laughs> and then uh, above that is a small one, so you can see both uh, clouds there. Uh, someone says Carina Nebula. I think Carina is the largest nebula, uh, but the object itself would be uh, this DSO. dwarf galaxy here. Yeah. All right. So you got one point, yay! One point so far. Next, uh, I will question. say... Uh, the second question here. What date, or at least the year, if you don't know the date, did you get your very first A-Pod? Uh, is that like November 2021? November 20... No, 2019. 2018. Pick one. So <laughs> Pick one. Uh, I think it was... 20, November 2018. Okay, wait. Okay, that's correct. You were so close to not getting it. Do you know which day? Do you know which day? 13? Which one? 13th? No, it no, was the 5th. Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys can see it here. You just got so many A pods. How can you keep track? <laughs> it was the, uh, the California Nebula. Uh, so, A pod. Congrats! It must have been uh, the the very first one of uh, of many, and uh, yeah. How many do you have now? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, I think it's like six or seven. Okay, because I counted seven, and I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> okay, so everyone says like the the gum nebula is bigger than the LMC. I'm confused now. Ooh, the children are fighting. Because we looked it up, yeah. and it did it did say LMC, but I guess For the like gum is. The catalog number, I think LMC technically because it has a number, but the gum nebula is just kind of like it's the gum so. nebula. You yeah, can't really look at it with the telescope because mm. it's so big. We'll have to. Oh, someone checked. Well, no way. Gum is like 36 and LMC is 10. 10 only? So you guys yeah. are telling me you want Bray to lose. <laughs> Shame on you. You're trying to mind us. The only a supernova remnant is bigger than the gum, though. Maybe. We'll have to we'll have to triple check later, but I guess we'll, you you still have your point. It's okay. You still win. <laughs> okay. As long as you get point. Okay, Daniel, yeah, we'll yeah, have yeah. the third question. Third question: You imaged an object recently described as a, nebu a nebula with an identity crisis. Uh, what is the name of that nebula? Oh God. Uh. uh it's like SNRG zero thirteen dash zero one three. It's like two thirteens. Well, you got can, so many numbers in there. I feel he, he, he almost got all the numbers right, but just just <laughs> tell us uh, the regular name that it has. It technically doesn't have a name. I called it the the Theta Miske Supernova yeah, there you go. Okay, that's what we yeah. got. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't you didn't I didn't. I didn't mean to make you do all those. I wrote them down anyway, but I was like, Which oh, is... no, he's really going for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, SNRG three o four that four dash three point one. Which is yeah, a that was a good question. I, I never remember the <laughs> SNR numbers. It's so lost on me. And you guys can see it right here. Yep, a very beautiful one. So amazing. That's a beautiful Love one. Love yeah. that one. 
<laughs> and again, very reflective of your style of editing. I love it. Now that I Thanks. know, I'm never going to unsee that. So you just put that in my brain forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question I will say is number four. But uh, that's an easy one if you know your Messier catalog. What is the nickname of Messier 94? Oh, God. That's, <laughs> a, that's a galaxy, isn't it? M94? Yeah. Isn't it like crocodile or something, or am I tripping? No. It's, you have one more try. The alligator crocodile eye galaxy. <laughs> there is no alligator galaxy in the world. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I'm thinking of crocodiles and alligators with M94. This okay, must be like I will show you the picture just so you can see. The picture appears on your screen now. Oh, uh, this okay. is the galaxy itself. Uh, it is M94, the cat's eye galaxy. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, that's wrong. But actually, you know what? I, I was a trick because I knew it was a kind of a trap because I know one time you told me you didn't really um, learn the nicknames for the Messi and all that. So I, I knew that from last time and I put it in there. <laughs> yeah, especially the galaxies. I have no idea. Okay. It was the cat's eye galaxy, everybody. Messi 94. Okay, next one is going to be funny. Ooh, fun question. Okay. What was your very first Instagram image that is still active today? Uh, Chester! Move! Jump! Oh, that's Chester. Uh, he's living with us now. Yay! Oh. He's a friend's cat, but he's a... Uh, anyway. He's our baby boy. Anyway. So trivia, yes. Uh, <laughs> so what's your very first... There's a photo of a thunderstorm, like, very close to the beginning. I don't know if that one's it. If that's not it, it's probably like a wide angle Milky Way image, but I can't remember. So the first picture, right? yeah. It was the clouds. So the first oh. picture that Bray uh, still has active on his Instagram is clouds. I mean, for an astrophotographer, you would wonder why, right? <laughs> but that isn't really. You would awesome expect like picture. a beautiful nebula or planet, no it's clouds. <laughs> but it's a storm going on, so it's interesting. Yeah, so the, the story of that shot was funny because we were, uh, it was supposed to clear up later that night and it did. I was with a bunch of my friends from high school and the cops came up to us and they were like, what are you doing out here? And we were like, we're out here to look at the Milky Way. And then he looked at the thunderstorm and he's like, I can't see any stars. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, it's going to get clear later. It's fine. I'm not selling drugs in the desert. He's like, y'all smoking, y'all drinking. Yeah. And you're like, no, please, sir. We're just stargazing, please. And when you're getting started, like in the hobby, you're so excited. You always think the clouds will go away. Like you always have so much hope. And yeah. they know sometimes I do. Chester, please. No, because someone named Chester is like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to get him out of there. That's a telescope. He's in the Raza books. Oh, hi, Chester. Oh, hi, yeah. Chesty, my bestie. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Our regular cat, Gilbert, hates Chester. They're becoming friends, slowly. Anyway, so next question will be number six. Well, I guess you have to ask this one. Yes. Okay, so the, okay, it's super duper fun. A little like, uh, un, what is it, unearthed memory. Why would you take it away? Oh, I was looking sorry. at that. Cool. Uh, the first time Antoine had watermelon was also the first time that we all met. When was that? What year was that? That was uh, May of 2020. <clears throat> that was May. That was July. <laughs> yeah, that was May. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought July. Look, I'm eating my first watermelon and Bray is behind me. So, <laughs> just so you guys know, uh, this picture was like a, a phone portrait mode thing. So there was like black edges on the, each side. So I had to use like Photoshop AI uh, generated <laughs> fill. <laughs> and so <laughs> it came up with this. So I have no idea who those guys are. Um, <laughs> there's a guy holding like a dead fish or something on the left side with three hands. That's horrible, Antoine. I <laughs> don't, why would you do this? I didn't even know It was you were black doing bands this. on each side. I, I couldn't just leave black bands. Oh my. So yeah, this is uh, Bray and I. Uh, he gave me. Uh, what a man in peace, and he had flip flops on, of course. It was the first time Antoine ever had a fruit. Yes. Oh no. Was, was it actually your first time eating watermelon? Yeah. It yes, was. that is completely true. And I've ruined watermelon for the rest of your life. <laughs> it's good. It's good. 
because he'll never have a homegrown watermelon probably again until I grow him another one. Yeah, it was a homegrown from Briz Garden, and that, that was from fantastic. Farmer Falls Farm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that just means you have to grow another one so he can eat another watermelon yeah. for the second time in his life. Next time we go to an event or something, you have to bring me some. <laughs> next party, I'll grow you one. Awesome. <laughs> All right, next question will be number seven. Uh, okay, that's a, a bit of a tricky one, but not too difficult. How many subscribers do you have on YouTube as of today? Approximately. Uh, I just passed 80K like two days ago, so it's like 80,000, like a hundred something, probably. It's actually 80.4K. Oh, cool. Yeah. No way. So you became uh, very popular this morning, I guess. What? <laughs> it's those shorts, man. You never know when the shorts are going to do well. Yeah. It takes months sometimes. And you're a king at shorts, so that helps. <laughs> we love it. Congrats. Yeah, nice. Almost 100K, maybe in a few weeks. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Other oh, question! Which of the three narrowband filters is the worst at blocking light pollution from the city? O3. <gasps> wow! <laughs> you gotta clap for man swan. Yeah. O3 is definitely the worst when you're imaging from home uh, compared to HNS2 for sure. Write that down, children. So if you guys can, just image like HNS2 from home and just go somewhere like in the desert for O3 or something if you really want the best outcome. <clears throat> But yeah, all three kind of sucks from, uh, from home. But it's still better than nothing, I guess. Uh, wait, I don't have a picture of that? Nope. I don't, okay. All right, so next one, we have two questions left. It's so. a question from me by me because I was curious. So this question is, what is the name of the cool space-themed restaurant that you can only find at Walt Disney World in Epcot? Space 220. Yay! Okay. Also, uh, no bonus points. Oh, wait, I'm, that just, was okay. I'm just curious. Was it cool? Did you like it? <laughs> it was very cool, but the service was not as great as how cool it was. Because oh. the person at the front greeted us, and I was like, it's Lanchin's birthday. They asked if it was a special occasion. And then they didn't bring her a cupcake. I had to go oh. like ask her. So they it's dropped the ball. At Disney? Yeah. I know. It was really... A, like out of character for Disney, but it was so hard to get reservations. We had to get the the app that like notifies you when they open up. It was a whole thing. But yeah, we got them like the day before. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, this is I guess a restaurant at Disney World, right? Walt Disney World. Where you can eat, and I guess there's a space uh, space window, so you cannot feel like you're eating in a spaceship, which is Man, really cool. It looks so cool. I was like, oh, I'm so jealous because yeah, it, looks, it cool. looks so fun, but also the ridiculousness of getting reservations ridiculous um, and uh, since I the food was good at least yeah the food was really good honestly so many people cancel like the day of or before i feel like you could get lucky like most of the time mm. let's go to walt disney world okay uh <laughs> you heard it here you heard it here everybody okay 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 <laughs> no next time i go to florida is for a space launch and then maybe we'll and do you something. can take me to disney world uh but b before we move on um we missed the last picture, so you guys can see here, like, HSO difference of, of signal uh, from home. H and S are so more, so much more bright than O3, which has almost nothing in there. But if you went to, like, a dark site, you would have a, a better signal for O3, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, my so made me itchy. We have one last question, and just so you guys know, after this, we're doing the raffle. So, last chance for the Pegasus Astro Box. Raffle, uh, just use one super chat of any kind and you'll be entered in there. All right, last question for Bray. You are a handy, well, you are handy with your engineer background. So much so that you built a telescope for the first time at the cost of what feels like... An five, adult five dollars. Like five bucks, yeah. It looks like a super cheap scope. scope. What was the actual cost of the telescope? If you factor in the paper towel roll, I think, how much are paper towels these days? Like $5 for a singular roll? I have no idea. If you factor that in that and then the lenses, it's probably 25 but it was the worst thing I've ever made. It was really funny. It had so much astigmatism that it was just embarrassing. <laughs> so you guys can see here, uh, Bray's beautiful uh, Dobsonian-like <laughs> telescope using a 
a TP, not, not a TP, but like a paper roll thingy. And I think two mirrors, right? You use like two very small mirrors. Lenses. Oh, lenses, yeah. Yeah, it was um, two convex lenses. One, um, they have to be different focal lengths. One was like a 500 and one was like 100. So it was 5X magnification. Oh, smart. Yeah, so when you hook up the camera to it, you only need the one. But yeah, refractor style. Did you try putting your like cool camera at the back or something? No. I did. I put my uh, I put a 183 mm on the back, and I did a HA image of Orion. Oh, I think I saw the picture. Yeah, yeah, nice. It nice. was awful, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> hey, better than nothing. But you're just so handy. And then you said the word janky in that video, and I was like, mm, it was just so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I appreciated like how again how casual you are like when your videos. You that's that's your gift. So keep it up. All Thank right. You. Yeah, I think she got nine out of ten um, questions right. What Which was... is an A. Yes, same for <laughs> same for truck. I think he got nine out of ten too. Very cool. As I remember the dates, I thought for sure I would be totally lost on that. <laughs> like, like, look, if you know your mom's birthday, your birthday, and Lynchin's birthday, you're good. I, I don't know about your dad. Maybe that one's easy to remember too. So as long as you got those, you're good. 